Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2022 ski test videos. Today we're talking about the Line Blade. Uh, this is still a relatively new ski, hasn't been out for very long, and it is wild. Um, there's not really much like this on the market, or really there's not anything like this on the market. Uh, it's super unique. It's basically Line's take on kind of a dedicated carving ski. Um, but it's doing so in a very different way than most dedicated carving skis. Uh, so we get an aspen wood core in here, nothing crazy there, but then we get this really intricate grid of metal. Um, Line calls it gas pedal metal, which I think is a pretty good name for it, just in the way that this ski feels. You can definitely press on the gas pedal and get it to make some pretty crazy turns. Um, obviously the shape is really unique, Huge wide shovel, pretty big tail. Shovel's 154 millimeters wide, so really, really big, almost like a powder ski shovel up there. Um, 95 underfoot, so much wider than most carving skis. Uh, line doesn't even list the turn radius. They basically just say that it's like really tight, um, and it is. So this ski makes unbelievably snappy, quick carving turns. Uh, it's, it's really a unique skiing experience, the way, the way that it comes across the fall line. Um, it's pretty easy to flex it too. You know, it's not, not like crazy stiff. Uh, it, is, it is stiffer than I'd say most of line skis, but they don't link the metal underfoot by design. So the ski will flex underfoot, which kind of, you know, it helps when you're making those, those short, super short turns. Um, then we also get some kind of interesting tip and tail rocker in this ski. So not a crazy amount of tip rocker, but then when you decamber the ski, it starts rising uh, really about right there. So a significant length. Uh, and then this tail shape is really interesting for a carving ski. Much more splay, almost like a twin tip that they just hacked off and gave this almost swallow tail finish. Um, so... Interestingly, this shape, because there's such a big difference between the tip width and the tail width, so the actual tip to tail taper of the ski, it's more maneuverable and more, more versatile than you might think. You know, most skis with a tight turn radius like this that are designed for carving and that use metal, they're pretty much just kind of stuck in that carving category. Uh, but somewhat surprisingly, in, in a couple of years of testing on this ski now, we've found that you can ski it off trail and it's quite a bit of fun. Um, it's easier than you might think to release the tail edge, so you get this pretty agile, maneuverable feel off trail, and then just like trenching carving ability on, on firm snow, or, or even like not firm snow. This thing carves through softer snow really well because it's wider than most carving skis, so more surface area, more to kind of push against. Uh, a good friend of mine, Jeff Curry, skis these a ton. Um, he is very, very strong park skier, freestyle background, really good around the whole mountain too. Uh, and it's really cool to watch what he can do on these skis. You know, he's slashing and smearing and kind of, you know, doing little jibs here and there, but with more of like a carving precise vibe than, than say a ski like the Sir Francis Bacon that can do all of that stuff too. Uh, but with the kind of convex tips and tails, you know, it, it's got a much different feel, a less precise feel than a ski like this. So super unique, super fun, uh, really fun ski to add into anybody's quiver. Um, I really think that like just about anybody can, can enjoy this ski. Uh, maybe not the best choice for like an intermediate or definitely not a beginner, but anybody, you know, upper level intermediate on up through experts, I, I really think that anybody could get on this and kind of appreciate what it can do uh, because it's so much different. So that's the line blade. Uh, let us know if you have any questions about it. As usual, you can leave a comment here on the video or anywhere on our site or get in touch with us directly. Happy to talk more about it. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you guys out there on the slopes just ripping a bunch of carving turns on a line blade.